Okay, this is uh, today's project, and I don't know what happened. I filmed the uh, the first little part of it, and today's video, and uh, I don't know, it got deleted or I lost it on my phone. Who knows? Either way, uh, let's pretend this is the uh, first time opening it. You know. Um, okay, so here we go. It is snowplow related. It is the uh, uh, three quarter inch cutting edge. <laughs> For uh, for the plow, it's kind of funny how it comes in the the box. It's uh, they say it's it should last a long time, uh, but it's like really flexible. So, um, so that's it. Let's see. So I don't know. It's got a few. Uh, you see there, some bubbles on it, but I hope that's not going to really affect anything. Um, so I'm going to let this thing flatten out. Lay it in. It's a little bit cold because it just came in from outside. I'm going to um, let it kind of flatten out here, and um, then we're going to put it on. I know you use your your old uh, cutting edge as a as a gasket. Uh, they got instructions here. They say that it uh, should last quite a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to read those or not, but I think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. But we'll. Uh, Put it on, and then I'll have to wait for some snow to try out. I have a uh, concrete driveway, so definitely don't want the metal blade um, chewing that up. This is uh, supposed to last quite a while, and should save the uh, the concrete. It should be nice and soft on it. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so here we are outside. Uh, yeah, plan on getting this done a little bit earlier in the day, but uh, it's a bit late now. Um, anyway, so we're going to. Um, that's a little bit. Let's see, I already took the one out. There's a few of these um, carriage bolts here. And uh, we're going to take those out and then take the, the blade off here. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's see, so raise it up. And then uh, for safety, like it's, it's pretty sharp, that blade, if it comes down when your arm's underneath it, I'm going to... Slide a few. Let's see here. Get this under here. There we go. And then we're just gonna have that underneath it just in case. There we go. So, all right, so now that it's uh, resting on that, I mean, you know. For that cable to snap at the wrong time, you'd have to have like really bad luck, but still. Okay, so here we go. All the uh, bolts are off here. Um, that one out. And then here we go. Here's our blade. Um, so sorry. Blade. And then uh, the holes. We're going to uh, bring this now to the bench. And. Um, in the, I guess, you know, what you're supposed to do is this is, these holes should be in the middle of the blade, but mine are in the, uh, kind of in the top of the blade. So it's supposed to center your blade this way. So I may have to kind of still drill the holes in the center and then, um, you know, have this, this blade kind of sticking like this. I went out. These are what the uh, original carriage bolts are. Those are definitely too short. So I went out and got an uh, inch in... Uh, I think these are inch and a quarter here, and uh, those will definitely go. They'll go right through. They're gonna actually go through it this way, and then stick out the back. Um, yeah, you see the difference there. So that was the next step up um, from here. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, let's measure. I know it's four inches, so we're gonna measure here. Okay, we're gonna go here and we're gonna mark it. Two inches. Okay, and down here. We'll mark her at two inches. Okay, and then um, see I'll get the chalk line. I like to use the chalk line. There 
and uh, hopefully it sticks to the, the plastic all right. So there's our center, and then now I'm going to put the blade on top of that, and then mark out where uh, we're going to do our holes, but I'm going to maybe clean it up first, because it's, the back of it's really dirty. You can see here where it was worn, hopefully you can see that where it's uh, really on the edges there, and even in here, uh, the the mount was bent when I got it. Um, so I took it to a machine or metal work and they straightened it for me. And uh, now it works pretty well. Uh, so hopefully it'll uh, wear more even, because before it was just just wearing not so good. So see, I'll put the lines up here with these. At the center, kind of like that. And then I'll just mark my holes here. Let's see, right about there. Okay. As long as we have that, it's exactly four feet. My uh, this bar is four feet. I ordered this. Uh, at four feet, so we'll kind of just mark the middle of each hole. Lift her up. And, uh, yeah, and this one. Okay. So I'm going to take my, uh, my square here, just kind of give myself a bigger mark so I know exactly where we're, we're drilling. And then get the uh, the drill out. I'm gonna use a, a drill press for this, um, just because I want them to be straight. I don't want to go in on an angle. And uh, I know you could, if you don't have a drill press, that's fine. You could just use a regular regular drill, and uh, you'll be all right. Can be big enough. I have to go up on the uh, on the drill bit, so swap that out. I see now. I want it to be tight, so I'm just going to go up one. Okay, that first hole was five sixteenths. This one's three eighths, and this one should fit. I think for the rest of them, I'm going to go with a uh, really smaller drill bit, and then uh, uh, it's like a pilot hole. Make sure I get it dead center, and then I'm going to uh, move up. Okay, so here we go. We have our uh, this is the fall line. By the way, I don't know if I um, there's a number there if you want to get it. This stuff is like really soft, so I hope it doesn't. Uh, like I mean, you know, for the concrete driveway, it's supposed to be soft, I guess, and hopefully it doesn't wear. They said just get a few seasons out of it. Um, yeah, I hope it doesn't wear too much. I drilled my holes really tight, uh, just to kind of keep it, you know, so I don't want to move it around a lot. So I'm just taking a uh, one of these guys. Where they go? And then uh, placing it in, kind of screw it in a little bit. It will bite. And then I'll uh, hammer it. Let's see, so it hits the bench. And then hammer it the rest of the way through. So 
I'll do that with the rest and then show you how, how it looks. Okay, so here's the, uh, you know, kind of finished product. Um, that's it. This is how it looks on the other side. So, so that's the part that goes to the plow. Uh, for me, what I did is um, I made sure I got my the carriage bolts the same size, and then so I could use these heads and these, uh, the nuts have um, they have like the little nylon inside of it, so it uh, it actually kind of locks itself on there, so they're not going to back out. Um, some people have said to use Loctite, but I'm not a fan of using Loctite. Um, these were pretty tough to get off. Um, as it was with, you know, the rust and all that with the snow. We want to use Loctite and then potentially spin, you know, make the whole, the square for the carriage bolt on this blade, uh, make it round. So I would just, um, I think this is a good option if you can find them. I don't even know if they're stainless, but they came with it. So I, maybe they are, they're, they're kind of rusted, but not really. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go put this on the plow and then we'll, uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so here it is on the uh, on the plow. That's how it looks. Um, not too bad. Like it looks like there's only a, a small edge here, but when you actually oh, there, there, when you actually look from behind, there's at least like look here. Look how much is uh, overhanging here. So we got at least an inch. Um, yeah, about an inch. You know, uh, on that. Uh, so like there's lots of wear that it can go. Go. I guess if it gets bad, it can do something with this bar. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll have to figure it out when I get there, but it looks like there is quite a bit for now. Um, and yeah, let's see, uh, we'll put it down see how it looks on the ground. Let's see here. Okay, so there we go. On the ground, kind of goes with the yellow. Uh, that was just a, uh. A little bit of luck, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see what uh, how it works. I think I'm gonna gonna call Warren and find out what the uh, torque specs they kind of want for this thing. Because um, obviously you're compressing compressing the the, the, the plastic here, and um, kind of wanted to make sure it's even, so it's even pressure. Um, they said that if it if you are on it, I kind of read that the instructions a little bit, and they said if you're if you are uh, noticing a little bit of chatter and they said um, put it in reverse and then drag drag the uh, bucket backwards for like I don't know maybe 50 feet or something like that and then it should put like a little bit of an angle on it and then once you have that angle then you're good should be good at least um, yeah so that's it um, the bowls that I got were still a little bit short I uh, was gonna put some washers behind here but I mean I don't know, I have to tighten it up because it's not even, they're really not even on there. I got to really tighten them up a bit more. Um, so I might go get a little bit longer ones. Uh, that's it. Um, if you like this video, check out my other video where I, uh, I increase the, uh, show you how to increase the, uh, the height of the blade to about 17 inches. Um, it's a, a worn mid mount. So it uh, gets up there almost as good as the, the front mounts. Anyways, like and subscribe, and uh, if any questions, ask. Hopefully you uh, you can put this on your plow if you have a nice concrete driver or pavers or something like that, um, and uh, it's pretty easy. Okay, one more thing. I uh, forgot to mention that these, um, I guess your skids, are what they called. Uh, what I did is I, I raised them up. I still left them on there. Um, kind of left them loose so I can, if I something happens, and I don't know, this breaks or whatever, and I'm out somewhere that I can just hand kind of tighten it lower it raise it whatever um, so yeah so just don't forget to raise those otherwise there's no point the whole point of this is that this blade actually goes right on the, the pavement so you can scrape right down um, and uh, not hurt your driveway